Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make my ultimate childhood snack. Chocolate Caramel Rice Krispie Treats. They are so good and they only require four ingredients for ultimate chocolate caramelly deliciousnesses. Now, the one thing that you do need is a Mars bar or if you're in America, a Milky Way bar will do the job. You want to get these into nice chunks that are going to melt down with a bit of butter and this essentially becomes the glue for these Mars Bar Rice Krispie Treats. You are going to put these in with some Rice Krispies and you're going to be left with crunchy, caramel, chewy gooeyness. It's going to be good. Okay, these are looking pretty good. So just tumble these into a bowl that is sitting over a pan of simmering water and this is going to melt down with quite a generous amount of butter. So get that in there as well. And at this point, if you don't have Mars bars or you don't have Milky Way bars, you could do this with just chocolate, but I think you get so much more when you get that chewy deliciousness from the nougat and the caramel and the chocolate, so stick with me. Now the trick to getting a lovely gooey chocolate mess is to make sure that you stir constantly with a whisk. Unlike chocolate, it doesn't melt as quickly because there's other things going on in there. So just using a whisk, keep stirring this until you have a nice smooth mixture. Okay, this is looking really good. So I'm gonna take it carefully off the heat and transfer over a little bowl of chocolate, which is gonna melt down while I get on with my Rice Krispie Square. So at this point now, your chocolate mixture has come together. It's melted down completely. And if you have a few lumps and bumps, it's not the end of the world. Just keep whisking and you should have a nice smooth mixture. So set this aside. We have some Rice Krispies or some crisped corn cereal or whatever you can get your hands on. You just want that lovely crunch. This can be made with a whole host of different cereals, but I think this works the best. So we're gonna take that chocolatey melty mixture and pour it straight on in there. Oh baby, this looks good. The great thing about those Mars bars or the Milky Way bars is that caramel touch because it just adds this lovely chewy velvety texture into these lovely Rice Krispie treats. So using a wooden spoon, give this a good mix through and you just want an even coating on all those Rice Krispies. I feel this doesn't even warrant a recipe, but you know what? This is ultimate satisfaction. And these were one of the first things I ever learned to make in the kitchen as a kid. So you've got to try them. Once you have them evenly coated, just like I have now, we're going to grab up a baking tin lined with some parchment paper. And you do need to line it with parchment paper. Otherwise, they could be tricky to get out. And then tumble that Rice Krispie mixture straight on in there. It is proper wooden spoon and bowl sort of cooking. I love the fact that everything just gets mixed and melted and everything looks good. So just using the back of that spoon, we're gonna push this down and you're looking for a nice, flat, even surface over the top because that's where our chocolate's gonna go. When I was a kid making these, my favorite thing to do was take some of the hot chocolatey Rice Krispie mixture, but I'm not gonna do it right now. I'm gonna save myself. Okay, this is looking pretty good. So. Once this chocolate is melted, we're going to pour that straight over the top, leave it to set, and chop it up. The chocolate I'm using here is milk chocolate. You can use dark chocolate if you want to, but I think if you're going to go all out sweet, you've got to use milk chocolate. So I'm just melting this down, and the best thing with milk chocolate is to melt it low and slow because it doesn't have as much cocoa solid, so it tends to kind of go a little bit grainy if you heat it up too quickly. So just take your time with this, and once you have a nice melted mixture, it's good to go. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in chocolatey business. So I need to now spread this out over the top of these Rice Krispie treats. So just spread it all the way. Look at that chocolatey goodness. This is where if you want to lick the screen, you are totally free to do so. Please do. Now, we're gonna spread this very evenly over the top here. And you just want a nice even coating just to finish these Rice Krispie treats. And they look so good. And now this is going to rest in a cool, dark place just until it's firmed up and everything has gone nice and solid. And then it's time to slice it up and taste it. Once these chocolate caramel rice crispy treats have set and cooled and solidified, it's time to take them out of their little tin. They look pretty good. So all I've got to do now is slice it up into nice, delicate little squares. It's all about the crunch as you slice through these. This has to be one of the ultimate simple things to make in the kitchen. It is ultimate satisfaction, but it gives you exactly what you need. That chocolatey, caramelly hit. And the best part is that it's nice and crunchy too. Mm. Mm. That is so good. You have to make these. They are so delicious. 
they're caramelly, they're crunchy, they're chocolatey. Mm. Basically everything you want from something you can dump and stir and then leave to cool. It is really worthwhile making. So if you want the recipe, you can find it in the box below. Make sure to like this recipe, share this video. Of course, subscribe to the channel for lots more delicious recipes and make sure to leave me a comment in the box below. Until then, happy Rice Krispie making, my friends.